Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Captain Giorgio and welcome back to the channel. Today, we will delve right into the dynamic world of superhero cinema, exploring how the strategic use of colors can shape and redefine a narrative. So get ready to compare the 2017 Justice League with Snyder's Cut, and let's uncover how colors play a role in shaping our emotions, in capturing our attention, and carrying deeper meanings. So let's dive right into it. Alright, so let's kick things off with the 2017 theatrical version of the Justice League. Imagine a blast of bright, vibrant colors hitting you like a wave of excitement. These lively hues not only make you feel happy and pumped up, but they also grab your attention like a magnet. It's like being at a carnival where everything's fun and full of life. But there's more to that. The bold primary colors infuse the screen with energy and vitality, mirroring the film's overreaching theme of heroism and unity. Now, let's switch gears over to the Snyder's Cut version of the Justice League. Here, the colors take a completely different turn. Instead of the bright, flashy palette, we get more of a subdued, moody vibe. These colors are deeper and darker, like the shadows creeping in from the corners, giving the movie a much more deeper, more mature feel. But don't let that fool you. These somber tones grab your attention in a different way, drawing you into a more introspective journey. For those that don't know, introspective is when someone spends considerable time examining their own thoughts and feelings. It's like peeling back the layers of a superhero's psyche and seeing what's really going on beneath the surface. It crafts a visual landscape that echoes each character's inner turmoil and the weight of their collective struggle against the greater evil. Also, notice there's more blood on this film than on the original release. Now, despite sharing common scenes and sequences, the two versions of the Justice League diverge significantly in their own use of color to convey their perspective stories. While the theatrical version immerses audiences in a world of optimism and heroic valor, the Snyder Cut plunges them into the realm of shadow and complexity, where every shade serves to deepen the emotional resonance of the narrative. See, the difference in color isn't just making things look pretty, it's about triggering different emotional responses in us. The fun, bright colors of the theatrical release makes us feel excited and happy, while the darker, moodier tones of the Snyder Cut evoke a sense of mystery and depth. So why does this all matter? Well, colors can totally change how we see and feel about a movie. They're like the magic paintbrush that sets the tone and mood for the whole story. Whether it is bright and fun or dark and moody, colors have the power to shape our interpretation of the film to make it a totally different experience. But wait, there's more. Colors aren't just about making us feel stuff, they're also loaded with meaning and cultural context. Think about it, certain colors can symbolize different things in different cultures. For example, red might mean love and passion in one culture, while it symbolizes luck and prosperity at another. So when filmmakers choose their colors, they're not just picking pretty shades, they're sending messages out that speak to our hearts and minds tapping in into our shared cultural experiences. It has already been planned out. Well, I hope you learned something today. Thanks for joining us in this colorful adventure and don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your pals, and subscribe for more art insights. My name is Captain Giorgio and thank you so much for your time. I hope you stay safe, stay well, and remember to always stay creative. Alright yo, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.